You are being robbed, and slowly and methodically, money is being sucked out of your account with you not even knowing it. My name is Coach JB. I work to make the complex simple. I work eight to nine hours a day since I left banking in 2017 to understand the mechanisms of money, number one, and number two is how this banking system actually works. Remember, this is nothing new under the sun. Nobody's stopping you from rewiring your subconscious mind. Nobody's stopping you from understanding how the mechanisms of money work. But I do understand, understand at a deep level that we are so distracted that we are buried in debt, trying to survive, trying to get to the next paycheck, that we cannot stop for a moment to understand what is actually happening. So I do videos from 8 to 12, 8 to 20 minutes every single day to educate you. So first thing you need to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like and comment so this reaches more people. And that way you'll get notifications that this video is available every single day, Monday through Friday. We also have our Good Morning Crypto Show. They're diving you deep into cryptocurrency and the updated news. And I'm taking you into macro microeconomics. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you in the description down below how you can get my exact blueprint and the five pillars of wealth. And if you're not in my academy in the next 90 days, you're going to want to get in because what I'm about to talk about today is earning capacity. You have to understand the mechanisms of money as you sit in your job. I call it a just over broke when we trade time for money. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that's what it's designed to do. Keep you just over broke as Americans. We borrow against our future selves, hoping, and hope is not a strategy, that we will make enough money in the future, okay, that's key, you'll make enough money in the future to make good on those loans. Well, here's the problem with that strategy. If you don't increase your earning capacity outside of the normal just over broke training time for money, you're bound by time and you're bound by your company giving you a raise. So if that's your strategy, you're always going to end up in the same vicious cycle. That's why some statistics say that only 96% of people, or excuse me, 96% of people are tired with less than a million dollars. So what I'm going to break down today is what's happened to your dollar since 2000, what's happened to your product productivity since 2000, and where we sit today. The only way to get yourself out of this is to increase your earning capacity. After that, you need to understand how to take that new earned money and multiply it. Once you learn these easy mechanisms of money, it will radically, radically, radically transform your life. Okay, so let's dive into the first of the mechanisms of the money supply. So the M2 money report, this stuff is all available to you guys, but I'm going to bring this stuff to you guys every single day because it's important. I know you're sitting in your job and you're not sitting here researching all this stuff. And some of this stuff, it's so confusing and it's, it's like, this is what happens with human beings, right? So you're watching my channel, someone else's channel, all this different stuff. And there's so much information overload that we just shut down, right? Analyst perilous. The simple thing about my brain is I'm able to make the complex simple, okay? So I went through executive banking school. I've never been that great at education, but I work so hard to make sure that I can pass. So I did get a four-year degree, a bachelor's degree in business, and then I went to executive banking school. It's called CBA Executive Banking School. Now, I struggled through banking school, to be honest with you, with my dyslexia and how my brain works. My brain has to really focus. My brain has a logical circuit. So what I do now is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, my CFO of my companies, uh, of all my companies, is, was my tutor in banking school. And so I was able to really dive in. And so I have him as wise counsel all the time. So anytime I have a question about the monkey, monkey, <laughs> the money mechanisms, I go and ask deeper questions of my CFO. Okay, so this is called M2 Money Supply. Now, these reports are all available to you guys. So what I'm showing you here is the um, United States Money Supply, the M2 Money Report. So this is since 2000. If you notice, there's been a straight up trajectory of money supply. So in 2000, we were coming out of the dot-com boom, okay? And there's been a lot of boom and bust cycles, uh, quite a few. There's been a lot of stock market collapses. Uh, usually after a stock market collapse, around a stock market collapse, we go to war. And I've been saying around Q3 to Q4, we're going to have a pullback in the capital markets, right? It, it's, only, it's based on money supply and inflation, guys. We're, we're runaway inflation right now. 
they start raising interest rates and when they can't control monetary policy um, and they don't know how the answer for it, we go to war. And now we have China threatening to invade Taiwan. We have the Russia, Ukraine. We're defending Ukraine or we're supporting sending supplies to Ukraine. Uh, America said if China invades Taiwan, we will protect Taiwan. So when money monetary policies are out of control we go to war so we're in the same cycle guys if we understand the cycle we understand how to increase our earning capacity we understand how to multiply that we're in a really good position as human beings not just america but as human beings okay so this is from 2000 to 2023 so notice the line is going up i don't know if you guys can see my arrow here okay so no you can't see it on your screen okay so the line is going up going up going up going up and then 2020 Boom, it skyrocketed. Remember, Rosie Rios in 2012 was told to reduce coin and cash usage. Okay. Now, the reason why she was having trouble to reduce coin and cash usage is as she said, when money supply goes up, GDP growth goes up. When GDP growth goes up, it's hard to decrease can cash and coin. She said you need a shock to the system. 2020. C word came. We all got shut down. Massive shock to the system. They increased money supply dramatically. And in 2022, they realized that, holy shit, what is happening is because we increase money supply, inflation goes out of control. Now, let me explain to you what that means. OK, so economics is based on the idea of supply and demand. If we print more money, there would be an artificial overabundance of demand money. But the supply of goods did not increase at the same rate. What results is dangerous inflation. Pl prices could increase to a level where newfound money would be worthless. So we hit that, basically. That's why Jerome Powell is raising interest rates, okay? So I want you guys to understand this. I'm going to show you what's happened since 2001, okay? Okay, so what happened was is they print so much money that there's, there's just free money out there. So everybody's buying shit, buying shit, buying shit. And so there's an artificial inflation, artificial supply and demand. There's so much demand that the price skyrockets. And the only way, based on this monetary system they created and the fiat system, the fake money, is to increase interest rates. Now, I'm breaking this down at a simplistic level because getting into the weeds wouldn't matter. Right? We start talking about different codes and you know the, 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 the mathematics. But it's like basically when money supply is free and our money is fake. So when they print, 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 there's abundance of money, but there's not enough supply. Does that make sense? So there's abundance of money. There's not enough stuff. So the, the price of the stuff starts to go up because there's not there's so much demand, there's not enough supply so that they can just keep raising prices, raising prices. And there's an abundance in companies and companies start hiring and there's a lot of jobs. And then all of a sudden they realize it's out of balance. So what they do is they have to raise interest rates. That's how they control uh, the, the money supplier. They control the, uh, the Federal Reserve, which is a bunch of rich bankers. They control money supply and job markets. So there's an abundance, right? So there's two things that happen. They shut us down. We come back. The job markets start going up because everybody's going back to work. Money supply, money is free. Then they shut off the money supply. Oh, I didn't show you guys that. Sorry. So this is what happened here. Okay. So they shut off the money supply in 2022, and it's basically been in a free fall all the way down. Okay. So now our money supply is going down. It's going straight down. Okay. And here's what's happened to your dollar since now. This is where you need to pay attention, okay? Because you're sitting and you're just over broke since 2000 and 2000, 2020 specifically. Okay, look at this. Since 2000 to 2023, okay? The same dollar in 2000 now takes $1.80 to buy the same thing. The question I have for you is, has your pay gone up that much? Absolutely not. Now, that just may not, 80 cents may not seem like a lot, but think about that in the perspective of a house. Being 100,000, now a house is at 180,000. Think about it as a car, okay? So when you start to look at these mechanisms, think about your pay. Let's look at 20, let's see, we can go to 2020, okay? Boom. Okay, so it's going to calculate, uh, let's see, will it do it for us? 2020? Should. Here we go. Okay. So it takes a dollar 18 to buy the same thing since 2020. That may not seem like a lot. That's 18 cents more on every single dollar, guys. So if you made a hundred thousand dollars in 2020 as your pay and you did nothing, the cumulative inflation is 17% to 2020. You now make eighty three thousand dollars. The only way you can beat that is to increase your earning capacity. That's it. 
And once you increase your earning capacity, if you do not understand how to multiply your money and stay on the right side of the cash flow quadrant, you're going to go back into the same exact cycle. Here's why. Okay. So when it comes to the pace of annual pay increases, the top 1% since 1980 grew by 138% since 1979. Well, the ranges for the bottom 90% only grew by 15%. Why do you think that is? Think about that. Look at the date, 1979 and 1971. They made money free, fake, excuse me. And they turned the printing machine on. So the people at the top know how to multiply money. These are the skills that I learned the last four years. This is why I went broke three times. I was able to earn a lot, but I finally figured out how they do it. Now I'm going to be in the top 1%. I guarantee, I will guarantee it within the next year. I'll be in the top 1% of earners. I'm putting it out to the universe. I'll be at a 500. And I'm going to get there, guys. I will be there. And then I'll transition. So what I'm transitioning now is understanding how wealth works, right? The 11.5 million to be in the top 1% of wealth and earning at 518. The reason why I'll be able, to, be able to transition in the next five years to that is because I know how to earn and I know how to get on the right side of the cash flow quadrant, okay? That's what you need to do and it's not that difficult. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? So listen to this, so look at this. So the top 90% grew by 15% and the top 1% grew by 138%. Why is that? It's because the top 1% takes your money. This bottom 1% is supplying the top 1%. You're putting your paycheck. And, and I put we put our money into the bank, right? We have businesses and stuff. So, But we know what to do with our money. I invest almost 30% of my income, okay? And I'm going to teach you guys how to do all this stuff. Get in my academy, okay? So the top 90% is feeding the top 1%. Their earning capacity went up because they're taking your money and they're lending it out. They're taking your money and they're creating new loans with it. They're taking your money and they're creating companies that you work for. And the reason why they beat inflation is because they have companies like we do. We crushed inflation because we have multiple companies. I have another co a beard company launching in July. I have another really cool thing I'm going to be launching inside the academy very soon that is going to free so many people, guys. Okay? We have to close this gap. That is your job to flip from here to the top here, okay? Now check this out. So this basically shows you, um, this is actual income, okay, since 1979, and it's income with no change in inequality. But this is income inequality. OK, so this is because we don't understand. So this is it's gross. Look at this. Since 1971, look how grossly we increased. I mean, that's disgusting. That's to 2006, guys. The wealth. This is talking about wealth gap, basically. I mean, this is kind of like a technical number, but basically we the wealth gap has increased so dramatically because the bottom 90 percent does not know how to turn their earning into wealth. OK, there's a couple money mechanism to give you a hint. Wealthy use insurance. They use real estate, they use gold and silver to secure their wealth, and they use boom and bust cycles to take that money and put it into secure vehicles, okay? Some of the richest families in the world insure their wealth, okay? I'm going to be teaching that stuff very soon here, okay? Now, this is, um, what do we got here? Oh, this is pro. Oh, this is what I want to show you guys, okay? So you become way more productive. So look at 1973. Again, the, look at this. This is what I want to teach you guys. What happened in 1971? Money became fake. And look at look at this. So money became fake around 1971 and the hourly compensation stopped increasing. Look at that. Look at that. Your productivity went up through the roof to 2013, 243%. And your hourly compensation only, only went up 108%. Look at that gap. That's why the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poor. So since 1971, they made our currency fake. Your productivity has gone through the roof. You have earning capacity has really not increased since 2020. If you made $100,000 with 17% accumulative inflation, you now make $83,000 without doing anything. So if you don't learn how to increase your earning capacity, number one, you will always be broke. Number two, if you don't learn how to take that earning capacity and multiply it and get on the right side of the cash flow quadrant, you will be in a vicious, vicious cycle. We have to understand the mechanisms of money. Okay, The rich keep getting richer and the poor will continue to get poorer. The middle class is moving down to the working poor. Why? Because industrial is dying. 
using your hands, gas, oil, that is all dying. But it is the greatest time in human history for the normal everyday person to get a piece of the pie. Now, what I mean by that is you need to first understand money mechanisms here. Money is freedom. It's a frequency. It is not a physical thing. It's not a Lamborghini. It's not a house. It's not a new spouse. It's not these. It's changing it here and changing it here and understand that you're already wealthy. You're already healthy. You're already abundant. That's why they keep us in the left hemisphere of the brain. So number one, you need to learn how to rewire the brain, the foundation. Everybody's teaching you how to earn. You need to rewire what you've learned. After you rewire what you learned, you need to learn how to earn. Once you learn how to earn more, you need to learn how to grow more. Once you learn how to grow more, you need to learn how to secure more. And then you repeat the cycle and you get yourself and your family out of this vicious cycle of poverty, mentally, physically, and spiritually. So I love you guys very, very much. I have some really cool stuff happening and if you're not in the Warrior Academy, this is your time to get in. You do not want to miss these opportunities I got coming up in the next 90 days. I'm working to help people at a very deep level break free from this just overbroke paradigm. I'm not a financial advisor. I will never DM you. Those are all scammers. I don't communicate with you on Telegram, WhatsApp, or Instagram. I won't ask you to send me money. That is not me. Those are scammers. I hate that I have to say this on every video, but I have to. I can't, it's hard to get verified on TikTok, Instagram. It doesn't matter how many scammers there are. They won't shut it down. I have to let you guys know this. I will not DM you. Don't send me money on Instagram or Telegram or WhatsApp. Use your discernment, guys. We have a Warrior Academy 120 day challenge, and I'm about to change the world in the next 90 days. The freight train has left the building. Get on board and go for the ride of your life or get ran over by it. But everybody's getting on the same train. After this video, everything's in the description down below. Warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. To keep you trapped. 2017, I walked out of a high paid vice president job because I was absolutely miserable. Working 16 to 19 hours a day because that's what the system taught me to do. And what I discovered through countless hours of meditation, research, reading books, understanding how the millionaires and billionaires operate, the system is designed to keep you trapped. Today, I own multiple companies. I travel all over the world. I'm financially free, and that's exactly why I created this community of like-minded warriors coming together called the 3T Warrior Academy. Now, I don't say this to brag. I'm sharing this with you to show you what's possible for you. Whether you're just starting out or you're looking to take your life to another level, we believe the Warrior Academy has something for everybody. Processes that take you step by step through discipline, consistent activities. And that's exactly what you're going to get. Our 120 day challenge, all you have to do is open up the app and take it day by day. We're gonna take you through the discipline, consistent activities to take your life to the next level. Within one week, you're gonna feel a difference. Within a month, people are gonna notice a change in you. That's how powerful this 120 day challenge is. So if you're truly ready to break free from the old paradigm into a new paradigm of discipline, consistency, great relationship with your family, financial freedom, and learning the pillars of wealth that'll change your life and generational wealth to come, I'm gonna invite you to do our program for seven days for free. The 120 day challenge has changed over 5,000 warriors lives worldwide and we hope to be yours next. Warriors, ah, let's get you together. Let's go.